Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vitmo, and this is the Lost Vape Prana Review. Let's do this, boy! I want you all to watch this to the very end, please, so I'm gonna make it as quick as possible. It's 67 by 41 and a half by 14. Do you read me? Millimeters. It has a 500 milliamp power battery. And it's got a nice little sea hole, so you know where your liquid's at. <laughs> it works on raw activation. No need to press no buttons. Punk. It has a variable wattage. You press this button here and the light will change, indicating the wattage. At red, we have 9 watts. At blue, we have 10 watts. And at green, green we have 12 watts isn't that just lovely the led also indicates the battery at red we have less than 15 percent at blue we have 15 to 65 percent and 65 to 100 percent is green i don't know why i'm doing this voice shall i stop shall i carry on I don't know! It has pods! It has pods! Because it's a pod system and that's what pod systems do. Unfortunately what I mean as it doesn't have changeable coils. It's changeable pods. But for a pod this size and shape, that's quite common! Not saying that it's a comp. Move on! The pods hold a very small one millimeter! And there's not much variable in the coils. They're in any, they just make one pod, and that's 1.2 ohm. Awkward! I'm just going to read this so look at the pretty pictures. It comes in a acrylic series, gem blue, gem champagne gold, or peacock black. Or you have the leather series, which is brown, champagne gold, or black. Do you read me, YouTube? Do you read me? So let's talk about glass vape and the pran. Pran. The Lost Day brought out the Orion and the Orion Quest, and they were very, very popular. But if you remember back a few months ago, I've got another system that everyone seems to say is great, and I don't think it's all that good at all. Ah, uh, I really didn't like the Lira they brought out. I thought it was awful, despite other reviewers saying it was decent. Trust me, it weren't decent. It were awful. But this is better. The flavour is there. Mmm, yeah. The battery seems quite small, but let's do a little bit of maths here. At 9 watt, you're going to get 370 two second puffs. That's one two second puff every other minute for 12 hours. That's pretty impressive. At 10 watts, you're going to get 333 puffs that are two seconds long. That'll last you for about 11 hours if you have a puff every other minute. 278 is the number of puffs you will get if you use it at 12 watts. And that'll last you for roughly... And that'll last you roughly 9 hours if you have a puff every other minute. So let's get serious. Why so serious? It is good. Comes with a lanyard. I forgot to mention the charging, it takes a one amp charge, so you're looking at about half an hour charging, which is decent. T -t 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 um, so, who is it for? Well, it's a very basic pod system, so if you're trying to quit, then maybe this is the one for you. However, The flavour isn't kick your arse good, but it is good. That there is flavour there with the Lira. I didn't like the flavour. The flavour was awful. With this, it is decent. It's not the best I've tried. I can't remember what the best I've tried were, but it is decent. The flavour is existing. I am sorry for my dark side. I've just realised I ain't got my lights on. My bad. What amateur. It, 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 it's really uh, important. Now, my dude's gonna ask, would I buy one? Well, I'm not a massive fan of pods, despite the fact that I uh, 
review them on a merit of a pod user. Um, so I probably wouldn't. If you was going to buy one, I'd recommend you do. Based on the price. If, if, if you can buy one of these for 20 quid, then it's an alright little buy. I have also forgot to mention how awesome it looks. Now I'm going to move it about a bit so you can see it. I don't know if you can. Can you? It's got these like little shapes inside that reflect differently at different angles. Which is cool. Because we have lanyard as well. And it's micro USB, not USB C, which you know really pisses me off. Oof. I think I've covered everything guys. I've covered vapor. No, I haven't. <coughs> the, the flavor production is pretty decent. I'm using this at 12 watts. Shall we knock it down to 9 watts for you? This <laughs> is a bit more. Um, it is a decent pod system for a beginner. I think if you're looking for your way up, you're probably not going to want it. Um, I'm, I'm trying to be honest. Uh, I know it sounds like I'm trying to say it's bad, but I'm trying to say it's good, but I'm not. It is a all right pod. The flavour's not kick your arse. But like I said, you've got to think you're using a 9 to 12 watt pod system. The flavour is there, I promise you. And this is uh, 10 watts. I think I'd probably prefer 9 watts of flavour to be fair. Um, and I did also notice while I've been using it at 12 watts, it seems to dry a bit, burn a bit dry. So it's probably best at 9 watts. Am I just rambling? Shall I leave you to it? I haven't got a giveaway way to announce because I didn't do one last week. The previous giveaway was posted on my community tab which leaves this little beast is now up for giveaway don't worry I will fully antibacterial it before I post it you will be fine do I look poorly to you but I'll start to back it anyway because I love you uh, thanks for watching guys now on a more serious note uh, I'm not going to educate you or rant at you or tell you my opinions all I'm going to say is guys please stay safe um, I know that the majority of you lot are healthy and fit, but because you don't smoke anymore. <laughs> but I don't want you to be pulled there, even if you will pull through it. So make sure your hands are clean, make sure you hand it back. I don't want you to lose any subscribers, not even for a week. So make sure you look after yourself, guys, because I love you. I really, really love you. Everything I do. Anyway. I can't sing, so I'm just going to leave you on this. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay cloudy! There is one more thing uh, I'm going to say. If any of you need anything, uh, I don't know, but if you need anything, let me know. Don't ask someone, because I ain't got any. I am a broadcast beep! But if you need anything that I might be able to help with, uh, I don't know, maybe you're in a part of the country that ain't got any antibiotic wipes or toilet roll. I'm sure I can find you some push some out. Yes, you will be paying for it. I am not a charity case. Like I said, I am broke. But if you do need anything, feel free to let me know. Don't feel cheeky. I am here to help you guys. Because like I said, I love you. Stay cloudy.